WON YouTube Networks is now on Facebook. Check it out. UPN5 Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. From MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford, New Jersey, WON Sports welcomes you to Times of New York preseason football. As we get set for the very first game of the preseason schedule, today's matchup is between the New York Titans and the Indianapolis Colts. And now we go into the field, the center, the 50-yard line for the annual coin toss. And the Colts have lost the toss and the Titans have elected to receive. So the boys in blue and gold are getting set to get the football. And we're getting set for some action here at MetLife Stadium. The home of the Titans and the Giants. And this ball game is underway between the Titans of New York and the Indianapolis Colts. Here's Gates who is bulldozed around the 25-yard line. And the starting quarterback is Geno Smith who will make his first start second start of the of his professional career and he'll be all set to man this offense for the very first preseason game a beautiful evening for football as the sun is starting to set down and go down here in the tri-state area Geno Smith out of the eye formation Short drop, passes on, he's got his man, and he's taken down. That's Nelson on the 13-yard reception, first and 10, now at the 38, the Titan 38. Very good play by Nelson there to keep the ball in his hands. That's the reason why New York signed him. There you see Rex Ryan, the head coach of the Titans of New York. First and 10 at the Jets 38. A good crowd on hand here at the Meadowlands. They were just underway between these two clubs. Geno Smith dropped down the pass, throws it down the middle, has his man, and has the sideline to the 20, 10, down around the nine yard line. Nelson again. So Nelson with two tremendous catches here. And the Titans have a first and goal situation at the Colts nine. Smith out his shotgun, comes out his shotgun, loves one to Johnson, Chad Johnson, may not to Chris Johnson, who is a former Tennessee Titan, now with the Titans. You look at the defensive line, followed by the, actually the offensive line, followed by the backs and receivers. Eric Decker, one of the key signees for the Titans of New York. Second and goal at the Colts three. So far, so good for the Titans of New York. Johnson up the middle, the ground and pound works. 
Touchdown, New York! Chris Johnson with his first touchdown as a New York Titan. And New York leads it six to nothing with the extra point pending. That'll be a three-yard run for Johnson. So a very impressive start to this ball game. As the extra point will be coming. Paul with the kick and it's a dandy. Four plays, 76 yards. A minute and 43 taken off the clock. Chris Johnson, a three yard touchdown. And Andrew Luck will be coming onto the field in a matter of moments. As you hear the defensive horn come out, which means that the Titans defense is about to get on the field. The kick is a high one. It'll be returned, now taken knee by Rainey out of the end zone and is probably spotted at the 20. And we're getting our first look at Andrew Luck in his first preseason game in the 2014 campaign. This guy has a lot of good skills, no doubt about it, and the Titans have to watch out for that today. He can throw and he can move. So here he is on his own. 20-yard line with 5.17 to go just underway here at the Meadowlands. 7-0 New York. Luck with a former Giant, Ahmad Bradshaw, nothing doing, loses yards on the play as we look at the Colts offensive line. Followed by the backs and receivers. We'll take a look at the Titans defense in just a matter of moments. But they just got introduced to that as Bradshaw loses three yards on the run. Second and 13. Bradshaw to the left of Luck. Luck out of the shotgun here. Looking, has problems and is taken down. We take a look at the defense for the Titans. The defensive line first, followed by the linebackers. And finally the secondary. The Titans defense lineup brought to you by Snickers. So instead of going forward, the Colts are going backwards. Now the ball is spotted at their own nine yard line, third down and 21. Luck out of the shotgun again, has issues, throws it down the sideline for Elton and he hold on to the ball, he did. A gain of 22 yards and it is a first and 10 for Indianapolis. On a third down and long play, a gamble throw, and Hilton was able to keep both feet in apparently, and he did. And it'll be a first and 10 for the Colts. First and 10 at the 31, 4.04 to go. 7 0 New York. At the 31, Bradshaw up the middle and gains about four on the play. It'll set up a second and 10 at the Indianapolis 35 yard line. Prior on the tackle for New York. Second and six. 340 and counter going opening quarter. Wilkinson under center, the defense for the Titans. Luck throws to the corner, has Reggie Wayne, steps out of bounds. But gains a couple, is third down and two. A gain of four on the play. And it will set up a third and two, a big third down play for the Colts and the Titans here. Last time the Colts won the third down situation, it was third and long, and they converted with a 22 yard reception. From Luck to Hilton. Third and two. Listen to this crowd here at MetLife Stadium. Harrison under center for the Titans. Hand off to Bradshaw. Bradshaw. And he is stop short. A gain of two, but not enough. Or maybe one, but not enough at all. And apparently the Colts will be set to punt and they will at their own 41. 
Three minutes to go in the opening quarter. Seven up in New York. Indianapolis go three and out. Good punt. It'll be returned by Curley, and he's taken down. So Geno Smith, who had a very productive first drive, comes in again here with a chance to possibly run down this clock to the end of the first quarter, but we'll see what happens. Geno out of the eye formation. Hands it off to Chris Johnson, who gains a couple. Take a look at the defense for the Colts, brought to you by Snickers. We'll take a look at the defensive line, followed by the linebackers, and finally, the secondary. The Colts defense line brought to you by Snickers. Second and six at the Colts 31-yard line. 225 and counting here in the first. Gino out of the eye formation, goal line stands. Hands it off to Chris Johnson, who gains a little bit more. Three yards short of the first down marker. Johnson has three rushes so far this evening. Third down and three coming up. Smith to Johnson who is stopped short pushed back about a yard or two and the punt unit will come on for New York so the special teams will come put down and one Finley will be set here to punt it away. And he won't, they snap it, he throws it down the middle, and Rawls drops the ball. He had it in his hands and dropped it. That should have been a first down, but to no avail. Turnover on down. Rex is not happy. That ball should have been caught. Here it is again. That was right in the hands of the receiver, but he completely dropped the ball. So the Colts have it at the Titans 35 yard line, good field position for Indianapolis. Luck out of the eye formation. He looks across the corner and the former giant Akeem Nix comes up with the ball. It'll be a second down and three with 113 to go in the first quarter. Second and three. Lock out of the out formation, hands it off to Bradshaw, who will stop short. Looks like he got no gain on the play there. It'll be third down and three coming up for, Indian for Indianapolis. With about 50 seconds to go in counting. Burrow tolls for third down. Harrison under center for New York. Luck out of the eye formation. Hands off to Bradshaw, who crosses the first down marker. A new set of down for Indianapolis, and we have a down player. Well, let's see the run by Bradshaw first. About 20 seconds to go in the first quarter and counting. Seven to nothing, New York. But Indianapolis is threatening with the final seconds of the first ticking away. Bradshaw, and he is tripped up awkwardly. He gains nothing on the play, and that will do it for the first quarter. The Titans of New York strike first here at MetLife Stadium in the very first preseason game of the year. At the end of one here at MetLife Stadium, it's New York 7 and the Colts nothing. You're watching Titans preseason football on the plus 5.2 W01. Stay with us. 
Supergirl has the ability to save millions upon millions of lives with her great superpowers. Americans have the ability to save thousands of lives, one at a time. 16,000 people die each year in car crashes that don't have to. Safety belts could save their lives. Safety belts could also prevent thousands from being horribly disfigured or crippled for life. So buckle up. Your life is in your hands. Carlton Fisk calls all my pitches. Even this one for these washable, durable White Sox placemats from your hometown Pizza Hut restaurants. Oh, yeah. Just order any Pizza Hut pizza and get a set of two White Sox placemats for just 89 cents. There are four White Sox placemats in all, and they're available only at your hometown Pizza Hut restaurants. Hey, what's that? Fork ball. Fork ball? I don't even have a fork ball. <laughs> Where'd you learn to catch? Welcome back to MetLife Stadium. 7 nothing. New York's lead the Colts. Seven minutes on the clock for the first, for of course, the ending of the first half. We are in the second quarter. The lone touchdown in this game is Chad Johnson's three-yard run. So the first quarter went quick. Hassel back, the new quarterback, will hand it off to Brazil down the sideline, turns around and is taken down. First and ten here. And we're going to be seeing a lot of substitutions here because this is the very first game. So Hasselback is out of the eye formation. Hands it up to Richardson. And Richardson is taken down. Trent Richardson, the former Brown. We saw him a lot last year with the Brooklyn Browns. And he gains about two on the play. Second and eight coming up for Indianapolis. They're in the red zone. Technically. Second and eight. Richardson in the corner and is taken down. A yard gain, but not much after that. Third down coming up for Indianapolis at their own eight. Patterson with the tackle. That's his first of the ball game as the bell tolls for the third down, and that's when the crowd gets loud. Ellis on the center. Pass it back out of the, out of the shotgun here. He looks. He throws. Incomplete. And he is smacked down hard, too. So the field goal unit will most likely be coming through. Boy, this Titan defense coming through big time. So the field goal unit will come on for the Indianapolis Colts. And the kick is up, and it's a dandy. It's now a 7-3 New York lead. That's been a Terry on the kick. He puts the Colts up on the board for the very first time tonight. So most likely we will be seeing a quarterback change in just a matter of moments here for the Titans. A couple of changes. This is preseason and you don't want to take a chance on getting your players hurt. Curly to the corner. And nothing doing after that. Instead of that he is pushed back to the 20. And it will be first to 10 for New York. So... Let's see if we'll see a new quarterback here. We probably will. And we will. Michael Beck will be taking over to play the remainder of the game, you think. They have to take over at their own 20. Hand it off to Ivory. And Ivory gains about three on the play. Second and seven. Hey, fans, coming up in halftime here on the plus. Don't miss the official trailer. Uh, Supergirl and the Bloody Trace of the Stargirl. It premieres tonight over on our sister channel, the U5.4. We still got about an hour before that comes up on the U. So it's your chance to see a sneak peek of the most anticipated installment of the Supergirl Underwater Pharrell fan film series. It's the official trailer of Supergirl and the Bloody Trace of the Stargirl coming up next in halftime right here on the Plus 5.2. Second and seven for Beck. And Ivy has issues. Loses a yard on the play. 
he got confused. I didn't think. I don't think he. I don't think he knew he was gonna run the ball. That's a bad play by Ivory. Lots of actions to work with for Michael Vick. The running game not that good so far in this possession. They got the shotgun here's gonna heave one long and it's incomplete. First throw of the game for Michael Vick and it's off target. So once again the punt unit will come on for New York. Here it is again. And that almost looked to be almost intercepted. And the Titans want to talk it over. Fourth down and eight, seven to three. Titans will step aside. People going home on my train use the time to unwind. At first they're kind of shell-shocked. Then they realize they're heading home. They turn back into a father or a mother or a little league coach. Tickets! Tickets, please. By the time they get home, they're a regular person. At least until they get to work the next morning. Metro North and the Long Island Railroad, going your way. Back at MetLife Stadium, fourth down and eight. 4.32 to go. Bring, again, they take the handoff here. Clinton's gonna throw, and it's intercepted by Gordy. Well, second time we've seen it. The first one was dropped, but the other one was poorly thrown. It's a turnover on down slash interception. That's a bad play. And the Colts are out tremendous scoring territory. Field position for Indianapolis. First and ten. Seven to three, New York. Hasselback. Richardson is Bulldog. The former Brown player. Not getting that job done. The Jets have only allowed not that many yards, 67. But they have only allowed only 13 rushing yards. That's very good. But it's ranked one of the best defenses in the AFL slash NFL. Out of the shotgun is Hasselback. He looks down the field, intercepted by Davis to the Titans. He has room, but is taken down immediately. So New York answers back with an interception of their own. Right on cue. Rex Ryan has to be happy about that. He's a D guy, he's a defensive guy when it comes to this ball club. And his defense comes through again. So first and 10 at the Titans, 34 yard line. Seven to three, New York's lead the Colts. They got a shotgun here, he's gonna look. He's gonna fire for it, go for it all! Caught by Ford, into the end zone, touchdown! What a drive, what a throw, what a catch! 13 to three, New York! What a play! And the extra point will be coming on for New York. That is a long distance bomb. 
And this crowd loves it. It's preseason, but who cares? Fans here at MetLife love what they saw. A 66-yard touchdown from Vic to Jacoby Ford. And the Titans extend their lead to 14 to 3. Listen to this crowd, and it's only preseason. Fourth the line, a deep drive. It'll be returned by Sims. Sims into the corner. And he turns around and he's taken down. So, Hasselback and the coach will go back on the field down now by 11 with 3.39 to go in the first half. 14 and 3 is a score in favor of New York. Hasselback out of the shotgun, throws down the middle, has Wayden, and Wayden has room. Player takes him down. Around the Titans 38 yard line. Well, that quiets this Titan crowd here at MetLife Stadium. Good catch by Whelan. First and ten. Ellis under center for New York. Hasselback out of the eye formation. Goal line stance. Now changes his play. Comes out of the eye formation. Has issues and is tipped up from behind and taken down by Cunningham. Now we roll the sack. I lost the five. Second and fifteen. So second down and 15 coming up. For New York. Out of the shotgun is Hasselback. Second and 15 at the 43 yard line. New York Territory. Hand off to Trent Richardson. Nothing doing. No gain on the play. About 20 seconds to go before the two minute warning. But it's third down. And this crowd is about to get loud in about a matter of moments. The Zobi under center. Pass it back out of the shotgun. Looking, throwing, almost intercepted in and out of the hands of the defender. Fourth down and 15 coming up to Indianapolis. And here it is again, that play. Good defense by number 25. Two oh one to play. And it'll take us to the two minute warning. We may keep it here, but we shall see. McAfee will kick a high one. And now reach the end zone. Under two minutes to go here at the MetLife Stadium. Titans 14, call three. Stay right where you are. Hey, I'm telling you, 1048 Church was an empty lot. Check it again, Sam. Are you sitting down? Twin. Yeah, I just found out. Maria, was I in the 405 at 515 or the 515 at 405? Want to shoot some hoops? Then ask your mom. Whatever you need it for, there's always a public phone nearby. Mac I got a problem. And America's calling card makes it even easier to call. Now you said green pepper, right? Red. <laughs> yeah, I meant red. Back at MetLife Stadium, 156 to go in the first half. 14 to 3 is the score in favor of the New York Titans. Your Shirley Johnson is about to join us for a preseason football action here on the plus. Down the middle is intercepted by Burden. And Burden may have some room. Down the corner and is broken down around the 37 yard line. Second interception of the ball game delivered by New York and delivered 
by another quarterback. And the Colts have some business to attend to. So back to Trent Richardson, nothing going but a loss. As even though the Colts have three timeouts left, New York only has two, they're running the audible, but they lost a ton of yardage on that loss. And Hasselback throws it sideline on a play, but there's a flag, the first penalty of the ball game. And let's find out the call. Uh oh, and the head coach doesn't seem to be happy about it either. Let's find out the call though. Wow. So second down and 24, so they'll do a second down plane again. But now in their own territory. Ellis is under center. Base to the right of him. Cunningham to the left of him. Hassel back to the corner, almost intercepted with defensive takedown. And it'll be a third down and 24 with 125 left in the first half. A rough game for Hasselbeck. A rough game for both quarterbacks, but of course, we, uh, Michael Vick on the good side of things as he did throw a touchdown. The bell tolls for the third down play. And Trent Richardson, nothing going. Not that much to gain on that run. And it'll be a fourth down coming up. Let's see if they'll go for it or punt it away. And they will punt it away with about a minute and eight to go. Colts still have all three of their timeouts left. And like I said, this is preseason. They're going to do everything they can to run down the clock. There's no question about it. The Colts will get the football back to begin the third quarter when the second half begins. McAfee. Good hang time on that, but I'll reach the end zone. And into the stands. And the time's got called a timeout. We will step aside along with him. Hello. This is Universal City Studios, where we're filming Dragnet. I'd like to take just a minute to talk to those of you who will soon be 65 about signing up for your Medicare benefits under Social Security. Now, it's very important that you go into your Social Security office two or three months before your 65th birthday, regardless of whether you plan to retire or whether you want to continue working for a while. If you wait until you're already 65 to apply for Medicare, you will have lost some of the protection provided by this health insurance. The time to sign up is before you're 65 not after. Now, if you have a question about Medicare or about any of the other Social Security benefits, write, phone, or visit the Social Security office in your community. The people there will be glad to help you. Well, the reason for the timeout was because the Titans were going to take a knee, but if you take a knee in the end zone, that's a safety. The smart thing for them to do was call a timeout, and again, that ball almost intercepted. That would have been the third interception of the ball game. Here it is again. Not a good throw. Not a good throw at all. Right 
Michael Vick just trying to get out of his own end zone right now. He's going to throw a haymaker, and it's not even close. Well, you try, you talk about trying to get out of your own end zone with pressure. It doesn't look pretty at all. Vick having a lot of problems trying to get out of his own end zone here. Can't run the ball because you're at the two, and you could be pushed back, and that could be a safety. All they're trying to do is just run out the clock and they're having a hard time doing it. Another bad pass. Boy, oh boy. Well, this is a very odd situation. They're going to go for it. I don't know. You know you want to get out of the own end zone and run down the clock, but you are also in the risk. Running the risk of getting sacked. That's in the air, and it is caught by Gates. He's got it. How about that? That is something else, folks. No doubt about it. Now with nine seconds, they do have a timeout left. This will be the final play of the first half. What a monumental play. That ball's up in the air long enough, and that's a poor throw. Intercepted by Toller. And Toller is taken down. That is the fourth interception thrown by New York, and not a good one. But to no avail, nobody scores on that interception. And that'll do it for the first half of play. It was sloppy from the get-go, but at the end of one half of play here on MetLife Stadium, it's the Titans 14. And a Colts three. Come on back, will you? This is Titans preseason football on the plus. I've got an appointment with Agent Melissa Bennett. She's gonna fill me in on the Stargirl vampire case. You better hurry home or I'll miss my appointment. Harry White filled you in on the Stargirl information? Yes, Harry filled me in today. This is actually my first day back in the office. I've been overseas for a while covering some international events for the paper. Um, but yeah, I found out about what Stargirl is doing and if you ask me, I think she needs to be stopped. You see, I've been on this case since the day the Stargirl disappeared, over 10 years ago. I've never been so confused in my whole life. Get help! Get help, Jackie! Get help! Hello? Agent Bennett? What's happening? Hello? Ah! like the odds are in our favor. Stargirl, I'm not kidding! Show yourself!
back here at MetLife Stadium, you're looking at Michael Vick, who has thrown three interceptions so far today, but does have a touchdown in his resume for tonight's game. He gets set for third quarter action. Here at MetLife Stadium, glad you joined us here on the Plus 5.2 for our very first Titans preseason game. It is our first time we are on W on YouTube. We have done Titans football before. We did it in 2010 and 2011, but it was the first time we're doing it on YouTube for 2014. Rainey will return this. And Rainey is taken down around the 23-yard line. But a lot of uh, big caution lights are coming off for of Michael Vick right now because he has thrown three interceptions here today. And they have been poor throws, there's no doubt about it. That's going to be something to watch throughout the season. There is no doubt about it in my mind. 6.56 to go. Here's Richardson up the middle and Trent Richardson bulldozes his way for a first down. Ellis to Hasselback and now to Trent Richardson who loses a couple of yards. Well he has been poor running the football here tonight. There's no doubt about it in my mind. And he loses three yards on the play. That's a second down and 13 coming up. That's a bad play. Six fifteen and counting on the third. Titans of New York, 14. Indianapolis Colts, 3. It's been a low-scoring affair here in the Meadowland. Hasselback out of the shotgun. He looks, he has issues. Throws to Allen, and Allen gains about a couple. It'll be third down and five at the Colts, 39-yard line. Third and five for Andrew Luck, uh, making Hasselback in Indianapolis. Hasselback pumps once, throws up in the air, incomplete. Nobody home, and fourth down will be coming up for the Colts, but they have really struggled offensively here tonight. Fourth and five coming up. McAfee hits a high one. And it'll be returned by Gates who breaks one, breaks another, but not the other two. And he is slow to get up. First and 10 and Michael Beck will try to redeem himself after a poor throw a few plays ago. That was back in the second quarter. He's thrown three interceptions. They've been four in this game delivered by New York. Vic pumps and he's taken down. Oh boy, he got hammered like a dump truck. My goodness, that's a loss of a ton. He was aiming the throw, but boy, number 99 came in big time. He laid the hammer down. Mm. Second and 19. Vic again has issues, throws a liner, and it's almost through the hands of a couple of Colt defenders. Vic already has two interceptions, 
I thought there were four. Oh, well. Actually, there's three interceptions in this game. My mistake. My mistake. But right now, the passing game looks poor for both sides. 14-3, Titans lead the Colts right now. Vic will throw a haymaker, and again, incomplete. So right now, it's been poor on both sides throwing the football. And instead of punting it, they are going to throw the football. Well, it's preseason. I can understand why. Vic, it is almost intercepted again. Another turnover. Vic tonight is 2 for 11. My goodness. That is as poor as he can get. So it'll be a first and 10 for the Colts at the New York 30-yard line. And it looks like Michael Vick's night will be over. Not a very impressive one. He did have one touchdown, but after that, he went cold as ice. Trent Richardson, nothing doing. He is bulldozed. He's had a rough night tonight as well. No gain on that rushing drive. Second and ten. Hasselback. He looks, he throws, and Rodgers is a yard short. He makes the catch. Good catch there by the wide receiver. A good throw by Hasselback. It's been a long time since we've said that. Here it is again. As the bell tolled for the third down through the car. Third and one, and Richardson has an easy first down and a little bit more. He gets in in the New York 13-yard line, first and 10. They're technically almost in the red zone. Davis on the tackle. Davis has had a pretty good night tonight. He already has a touchdown. Oh, actually, no, not a touchdown, but an interception. It's going to be interesting to see what both of these squads do. We know about Trent Richardson, released by the Browns at the last year. It's going to be interesting if he'll make his ball club with a nod Bradshaw. This is, it's a big competition when it comes to Indianapolis. You see Hasselback throw, incomplete. He's 5 for 11 here tonight. He'll set up a second and 10 at the 13. And you see frustration on Hasselback's face. Second and 10 at the 13. 3.13 to go in the third. Titans 14. Three is the coach, of course. Forgive me for being a little bit rusty. It's been a while since I've done football. Up the middle. And that is Trent Richardson on the run. It's going to set up a first and goal at the two. And now they're deep into the Titans territory. Not too far from the end zone. Move 48 to go. And off. Billion. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Took a long time, but they got in, and they have made it a 14-9 ball game with the extra point pending with 2.44 to go in the third. And it looks like they're going to go for two points. This is a gamble. 
They go for two, they'll be down by three. Hasselbeck, looking, still looks, throws, and he's got a derby catch made by Rogers. The two-point conversion is spectacularly well done. What a catch. And it's now a three-point game. My goodness. Hang on, gold star on that one. This ball will be returned by Curly. And Curly up the middle, still on his feet, but down around the 29-yard line. Vic has had a tough night so far, but he's out the game. And Matt Sims, Hall of Famer's Phil Sims' son, making a start now as Michael Vick's night is over. Sims throws as he gets hit in the air and is incomplete. Second and ten coming up. Again, a poor throw. We've seen that a lot here tonight on both sides. Here's Sims again out of the shotgun. Comes out looking, comes out throwing. He's got his man. Is he inbounds though? The answer is no. Third down and 10 coming up still at the 29. With 2.31 to go. Mm. Sends out a shotgun again. He looks to throw, he does in the air again, a poor throw and nearly intercepted. My goodness. And they're going to go for it again, looking to convert. It worked once. But that is it. Another dangerous situation for the Titans of New York. And Sims throws it! Did he get it? The answer is no. Couldn't hold on to the football. A turnover on down. Hmm. This is preseason, folks. We just hope it doesn't carry over to the regular season. First to 10, 2.23 to go. New York 14, Colts 11. Hasselback to Richardson. Richardson is taken down. A yard short of the first down marker. They'll mark him at the 20. 2.13 to go in the third and counting. New York 14, Colts 11. A low scoring affair. The big issue in this, quarterback problem. Hasselback out of the shotgun. Throws into the corner for Richardson, who has a first down. First to 10 at the 13, the New York 13. Here's a look at it again. back out of the shotgun he looks he has problems and is taken down by pace another sack recorded by a titans defenseman and his second down in 17. out of the shotgun is hasselback 105 to go in the third his crowd is about live and well after that sack hasselback 
looking into the corner. Has Brazil, and he can't get anything out of that. And that could set up a game time field goal. They have tremendous field goal range from here. But I believe it's third down right now. We have to sit here and wait. It's third down and 12. There's still a field goal range, but the question is for how long? Third and 12, 35 seconds to go in the third and counting. Ball at the Titans 15. Hasselback to the corner. Allen is still going. Does he have a first down? That's the question. He passed the yellow line. And he's got himself a first down. How about that? That is a heck of an effort. And they're not going to challenge it. You would think they would, but they won't. And this opportunity for Rex Ryan here. Richardson is going to be in for the touchdown, and the Colts take the lead. It was rough from the get-go for the Colts, but they have come back and have taken a 17-14 lead here in MetLife Stadium. And the crowd has simmered down. Trent Richardson, who's had a tough night tonight, finally cashes in for six points and puts his club on top by three with the extra point pending. It could make it four. This crowd is quiet down significantly. There's a extra point that goes through it's 18 to 14 in favor of indianapolis trent richardson 12 carries 48 yards and that was a good touchdown run he could add that to his resume for tonight high drive kick return by curly and curly still on his feet up the middle good return around the 33. Ball at the 33, the New York 33. Eight seconds left in the third. Colts 18, New York 14. And off to Ivory. And Ivory gains a little bit, and that will do it for the third quarter. Got one quarter to go. Three have been complete here at the Meadowlands, and the score at the three quarters of play here from MetLife Stadium is the Colts 18 and the Titans of New York 14. Stay with us. More preseason action coming your way on the plus right after these messages. Agent Bennett? What's happening? Hello? Ah. Let me go! No. Back at MetLife Stadium, a good crowd still on hand as we get set for fourth quarter action. 
Seven minutes on the clock, 18 to 14 is the score in favor of the Colts. Yours truly, John Thorios. I will bring you not only this preseason action, but of course the entire season uh, across the networks of WONU2. Get ready. Get ready. Glad to be back with bringing you Titans of New York football for the first time since 2011. Has his man Hill, and that's going to be inches short of the first down marker. Good throw that time by Matthew Sims. So 13 inches coming up for the Titans of New York. Sims finds his man, that's Hill, but he dropped the ball. Fourth and inches, oof. Question is, will they go for it? When you're down by a few, you have to do something, and they're gonna go for it. Fourth down and inches. Ivory is the fullback, the running back here. He's behind Sims. And he's got himself a first down, and the drive will continue. Well, fans, the time has come. Go over to the U5.4 right after the game for the premiere of Supergirl and the Bloody Traits of the Star Girl, part of our WON MMP Studio Supergirl Underwater Pearl Fan Film Series. It is now playing and uploaded on the U5.4. Ivory has issues. Way too many, but he's still on his feet, and he almost went all the way. Holy cow! What a conundrum! That would have been something to see. Look at this. He didn't know where he was going. Broke a couple. And boy, he almost went all the way. Second and one. So it almost turned out to be a disaster. Turned out to be almost anything but. It's second and one at the Colts 46. Ivory got a first down, and the drive continues. He has 25 rushing yards so far. Colts lead the Titans 18-4, 18-14. With 5.03 to go. Ivory is taken down like a bus. He loses three on the play. It'll set up second down and 13. My goodness, what a hit. Ball now at the 44-yard line in Indianapolis Territory. Sims drops back to pass. He comes up. He throws as he gets hit. And it is intercepted by Vernon of Indianapolis. That is another interception throw by a New York quarterback. Wow. It has been that type of night for the New York Titans. First to 10, Hasselback to Richardson, nothing doing. If there's one thing that has kept New York in the game is their defense. Yes, they surrendered the lead, but their defense has been stellar throughout the game. But in a time of need, which is right now, the Titans in New York need the defense to come up big, and 
the offense to come through somehow in some way. Hasselback has all sorts of problems. Way too much and he is taken down at the 22. Calvin Pace with his second sack of the ball game. Third and 16. Third and 16 to go. Ball at the 22 yard line. 18 to 14, Indianapolis leads New York. Hassel back out of the shotgun here. He looks, has problems, take it down again. And we got ourselves a down player. That is Hasselback. he's hurt. He is hurt, folks. Mm. And he is holding his throwing hand. Oh boy. Mm. Well, as soon as we get word, we will send it and pass along to you, but that didn't look to be pretty. <laughs> McAfee. This would be good territory for New York. Gates breaks one, and it's taken down, but heads into the cold territory. 326 to go. All the teams have their timeout. The Titans are down by a ton. The way they're playing, it is a time. Sims drops back to pass, throws it down the middle. That is Hill, Hill, down around the eight yard line. First and goal, and that is his first time in a long time. The Titans have completed a long play. Good throw by Sims there and a good catch by Hill. This time elected not to throw in the traffic. Ball at the eight yard line with three minutes to go in the ball game. 18 to 14, Colts lead. Let's go. Sims drops back, throws into the end zone. It is incomplete. Sims two for nine. And he's frustrated as you can tell. Here it is again. Mm. Now Ryan not too pleased. And you can't blame him. Second and goal at the Indianapolis State Yard Line. Opportunity for the gold and blue. The blue and gold, whichever way you say it. Big opportunity for them and that is intercepted. Out of the end zone. My goodness, mm. a tremendous opportunity right in front of New York's face and another interception is committed. Wow. What's on the side of New York is their defense. And also the fact that they have a two-minute warning coming up and three timeouts remaining. We have a new quarterback, and that is Trent Richardson, who's the running back. We have a new quarterback, which will tell you, looks like his name was Harris. So on down on the Indianapolis, will run the clock down. They have to run the playoff before. The two minute warning you would think. Second and four. And they are gonna not hit the two minute warning. Trent Richardson has himself a first down and the two minute warning will stop the clock. Two minutes left in the ball game. It's the Colts 18 and the Titans 14. And we'll keep it here. 
We were going to go to a commercial, but we are going to keep it here, so we're giving you the remainder of the ball game. 18 to 14 is the score. Titans have all the timeouts. I hand it off to Richardson, and Richardson gains a few. And the Titans call a timeout, and we will step aside now. Hi, we're here at Kansas Deli talking about the New York Telephone Regional Calling Area. And helping me illustrate is Deli Man Marvin Waldman. Did I use your correct title, Marvin? Is Deli Man the correct way? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Uh, Marvin, what looks good today? Oh, well, I made a little model of the New York Telephone Regional Calling Area. The Locks is Long Island, the Gefilte Fish is Westchester and Rockland, and the pickled herring is the five boroughs. And practically all calls anywhere in this area are connected by New York Telephone. Right. If you call across the street, that's on New York Telephone. To Long Island, New York Telephone. And from the gefilte fish to the locks is New, New York, York telephone. telephone. A delightful presentation, Marvin. And if you're short on fish, just check out the back of your telephone bill. Regional calling from New York Telephone. Uh, Marvin, let me have a piece of Long Island uh, with a schmear. We're all connected in New York Telephone. Back in that life, there you see the head coach trying to rally his team. They came back from a ton and lead by four. The running game is right now helping them get bailed out. Another first down, and that may be all she wrote. We'll step us out again. game you have your bumps and bruises and you have your bumps on the road the bumps on the road has to be the quarterbacks none of them doing the job Vic only on the only touchdown of the game too many interceptions too many missed opportunities too many drop passes I mean it was that bad of a game and you just hope that it doesn't carry over to the season well, this is preseason game number one Titans will call a timeout, and we'll step it down again. I'm not a detective. I'm just a newspaper reporter. My job is to collect the facts, maybe help out the police a little bit, and then put it on paper for the next day's issue. I'm really not sure what Supergirl has to do with me, but I can guarantee that she'll be there. I know that personally she will. Thanks. I could use all the help I could get. You see, I've been on this case since the day that Stargirl disappeared, over ten years ago. I've never been so confused in my whole life. Listen, Miss Kent, I have to get to the pool house. Wait, I'm going with you! No way! Listen, for the last time, do not go to that pool house alone! Let me go with you, or better yet, let me get in contact with Supergirl so she can assist you. I'm sorry, but I have to do this alone. I've waited ten years to capture Stargirl, and I'm not going to stop now. She's taking an awful risk. I hope she knows what she's doing.
Back in that light. Rex Ryan. Trying to get his defense all settled in here. Now, the New York team does not have any timeouts remaining. Now, Rex Ryan is discussing with his defense what to do here. Second and ten. New York has no timeout. They'll hand it off to Richardson, who loses the time. Remember, New York has no timeouts. So undoubtedly so, now they're gonna throw the ball here, and that's a very big gamble. That's what it looks like from here. Now they're gonna run the clock down to at least a minute. But if it's incomplete, that looms large. Third and 12 coming up. About a minute and seven to go, play clock differences. And they're gonna hand it off to Richardson who's taken down. Now, here's the deal folks. The Titans will have time to run a couple of plays off for a few seconds. But the problem has been the throwing and the catching. So by the time they get the ball, they'll have about 20 seconds left in the ball game. So you'll probably see a couple of Hail Marys. They are down by four. And boy, they really don't have that much time left here. They'll be probably around 10. Look at the ball going that high. And that'll touch the end zone and the ball will be spotted at the one. Yikes. Yikes. So the Titans need a miracle. Ball will be spotted at the one yard line. It's up to Sims to try to make a miracle work. Sims will let it fly first. It's caught by Hill. That's a first down. But they have to hurry up. And they are taking their sweet time. And that's not going to help them any cause. And that's going to be the ball game. They took way too much time to get to the line. And it'll cost them. So that's going to do it for this ball game here at Metropolitan Life Insurance Stadium. As the final score is the Colts 18 and the Titans of New York 14. And time management was their downfall in this one. So the final score for MetLife Stadium as we take a look at tonight's player of the game, it's Brandon Burton with two big interceptions in this ball game. Mm. Well, caution lights are coming out for the quarterback, but there's another game to be played, and that'll be next week, and we'll have a field right here on the plus. But here is today's GMC Never Say Never moment of the game, and it was the only touchdown by the Titans. It was the throwing touchdown proved to be a big highlight in this game, but that has been it. So the final score for that fight, the Colts 18 and the Titans 14. We'll see you next week right here on the plus. So long everybody from MetLife Stadium in East Park, New Jersey. BN5 Sports thanks you for watching this presentation of the National Football League.